Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Zebin Haira Ismail welcome back to my arabic channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and like this video bismillahir rahmanir rahim friends in the previous lessons we have learned that in arabic language there are two types of pronouns attached pronouns the ma'irul muttasila and detached pronouns the ma'irul mufassila arabic pronoun are very important because its structure is used in everyday conversation today we will learn the ma'irul muttasila attached pronoun in arabic is called dama'irul muttasila attached pronoun in arabic are the pronouns that we attach to verbs nouns prepositions or particles see the example my car and your pen here the words my and your are the attached pronoun but in arabic the attached pronouns are not independent and they are attached to the end of the word with one or two letters we can see the ma'irul muttasila or attached pronoun in the end of the word ka and e but in english language attached pronoun we are writing separate See the first example. Ahmed is saying, "I'm writing the lesson." Ana atubu adarsa. We already learned in the last video. Ana is domirul mufassila or first person detached pronoun. Look at this second sentence. Now Ahmed is saying, "I wrote the lesson." Katab tu adarsa. I wrote means in Arabic katabtu here tu is dhamirul muttasila or attached pronoun attached pronouns are always added to the end of the word see tu attached with verb kataba tu means i tu we can use for female also If Fatima is doing instead of Ahmed we should use the same to for Fatima also Ana aktubu ad-darsa I am writing the lesson Katabtu ad-darsa I wrote the lesson We can see in this slide the attached pronoun with a verb Don't forget that dhamirul muttasila or attached pronouns are always added to the end of the word next we can see students are saying we are writing the lesson nahnu naktubu ad-darsa we are writing the lesson how to say we wrote the lesson katabna ad-darsa Here we can see the attached pronoun or the mirul muttasila in red color. Na means we. In this slide we can see the mirul muttasila or attached pronoun in the end of the word tu and na. Katab tu and katab na. Tu means I used for male and female same. Na means we used for male and female same. We can see in this picture Ahmed is writing the lesson. While writing Badr came near to him and he said you wrote the lesson. How to say in Arabic? katabta ad-dars here ta means you 
we used in the place of second person pronoun. Remember that the attached pronouns, as the name says, are attached to a word. So here the is attached pronoun. Here, Fatima is writing the lesson. Then Badr is saying to Fatima, Katab ti addars. You wrote the lesson. Here, attached pronoun is ti. For male, we used ta. For female, we should use ti. This is the difference between male and female second person. Next, you both wrote. Here we can see dual form. Two boys and two girls. How to say in Arabic you both wrote the lesson? Katab tuma ad-darsa. Tuma is attached pronoun or dhamirul muttasila and using for dual form second person male and female. We learned already Dual form is using for male and female same. So here we used Kataptuma for two male and two female. In this slide, we can see boys are writing the lesson. How to say in Arabic, you boys wrote the lesson? Kataptum ad-darsa. Here tum is domirul muttasila or attached pronoun. Tum means you and using for second person male plural. We can see girls are writing the lesson. Then which domirul muttasila we have to add with a noun? Tunna katab tunna addarsa means you girls wrote the lesson. Tunna is attached pronoun and using for second person female plural. We already learned in the previous slide attached pronoun with verb. Next we are going to learn Dwamirul Muttasila with the noun. In English language, attached pronoun we are writing separate. Example, my, our, your, his, her, their. Kitabun means one book. How to say my book in Arabic? Kitabi. Just add E in the end of the word. Next, our book. We can add na with a noun. Kitabuna. Next, your book. But for male singular. How to say? Kitabuka. We added ka in the end of the noun. Last one, your book for female singular. Kitabuki. We added with a noun. Ki. Remember, ka for male, ki for Female. We know in Arabic there are three forms. Singular, dual and plural. The dual refers to two and the plural refers to three or more. Then how to say your book for dual form? Kitabukuma. Here we added kuma with kitab. The dual form always using for male and female same. Here, kuma is attached pronoun or dhamirul muttasila and using for second person dual male and dual female. Next, your book. But here we can see male plural. For male plural, which domirul muttasila we should use? We have to use kum. Kitabu kum. Kum is domirul muttasila or attached pronoun. Using for second person male plural. Last one. Female plural. 
which dumirul muttasila we should attach kunna just add kunna with a noun kitabu kunna your book kunna is attached pronoun or dumirul muttasila and using for second person female plural let us check how to write his book in arabic we should add who with a noun this is ha letter we put the dhamma then how to read kitabuhu here who is dhamirul muttasila using for third person singular me who means his next her book in arabic we have to write kitabuha we should add ha in the end of the word or noun here ha is dhamirul muttasila or attached pronoun ha is using for female singular how to say their book in arabic but here their means not for plural it is using for dual form then for dual form which attached pronoun we should use huma kitabu huma here huma means there using for dual male and female same next is their book but plural we know that in arabic there are three forms singular dual and plural okay then how to say their book in arabic kitabuhum we added hum with a noun hum means their and using for male plural last one female plural we added hunna in the end of the word how to read kitabuhunna hunna is dhamirul muttasila using for female plural dhamirul muttasila or attached pronouns are always added to the end of the word this word can be a verb a noun or a preposition friends we already learned attached pronoun with a verb in the last slide we learned attached pronoun with a noun now we are learning dhamirul muttasila or attached pronoun with a preposition we know prepositions are ila ala min fi and be here we can see dhamirul muttasila with a preposition na ka kum he and ha ila plus na ilaina to us ala plus ka alayka on you min plus kum min kum from you b plus he be he by him fi plus he fi he inside him an plus ha an ha about her if the noun ends in ta marbuta the ta marbuta must be untied and made into a ta maftuha before the attached pronoun added see the example sayyara while adding dhamirul muttasila ya the ta marbuta will change to ta maftuha sayyarati next madrasa same thing happened here also when we added na with madrasa ta marbuta changed into ta maftuha when we are adding ya in the end of the noun it means my sayyarati means my car madrasatuna means our school friends let us revise attached pronoun and detached pronouns attached pronoun in arabic is called dhamirul muttasila and detached pronoun in arabic is called dhamirul munfasila ana 
meaning I. Nehnu meaning we. Anta meaning you for male. Anti meaning you for female. Antuma meaning you both or dual. Antum meaning you it is plural but for male. Antunna meaning you it is plural but for female. If we are adding ya in the end of the noun, we will get the meaning my. Example, now I am adding ya with baith. Baith means house. Then we should pronounce baithi means my house. Next, while adding na in the end of the word, we will get the meaning our. See, I added na with bait. Baituna, our house. Next, domirul mutasil, ka. While adding ka with the noun, we will get the meaning your. Example, baituka means your house. Here, ka is using for singular male. Next, domirul mutasila, ki. Using for female singular. When we are adding ki in the end of the noun, we should pronounce by to ki, your house. Bait means house. By to ki means your house, but for female. Next domirul mutasila is kuma. We are using kuma for dual form for male and female. By to kuma. Both of your house. Next, kum, using for male plural. While adding with bait, bait kum means your house, but male plural. Next, kunna, this attached pronoun is using for female plural. Plural, bait kunna, your house. Your means for female plural. Next, hua meaning he, hia meaning she, huma meaning they for dual, hum meaning they for male, hunna meaning they for female. Next, domirul mutasila is who. While adding who in the end of a noun, we will get the meaning his. Example, baitu who means his house. Next domirul mutasil is ha, baitu ha, her house. Next is huma. When we are adding huma in the end of a noun, the meaning should be there dual. Example, baitu huma, meaning both of their house. Next domirul mutasila is hum, means their for male. By to whom? Their house. Last domirul mutasil or attached pronoun is hunna. Hunna using for female plural. By to hunna meaning their house. Friends, I hope you understood the topic which I explained today. If you are a beginner, please watch my previous videos and start to learn from part 1. Friends, I hope you enjoyed my video and also check out my previous videos. Shukran!